Regarding crew size, the question is, what crew size do you use and why? Have you always done it this way? Why or why not? To answer the question, it's important to know that we're about 95% residential, 5% commercial. We started as commercial and shifted to residential. It's our strategy. Along the way, we have tried all kinds of different crew sizes. Um, it's also to know, important to know that we know who our ideal client is and what the size of their property is. And so we only go after the kind of client that is our ideal and we ignore everything else in our market. So we have everything in our market from small commercial to very large commercial, from very small residential. When I say very small residential, I'm talking 7,000 gross lot square feet and less. Uh, so we have stuff that small all the way up to multi-acre residential properties, estates. We've determined what our ideal is. It's also critical to understand that what we have found to work best for us, and it's different for every company, is that we do not have, we each tech, each crew, they are charged with their activity. Mowing crews mow, trimming crews trim, spray tech spray, pest control does pest control, irrigators do irrigation. They don't cross over. They're trained in their area of expertise. That's really important to know. So when we go mow, we send our mowing teams in, and when it's time to trim our mowing or prune, the bushes or shrubs, the, the, a different crew comes in. There are some efficiencies lost from doing it that, that way, but we believe from testing and trying things that there are huge effect efficiencies gained. So that's important to understand to understand my answer. So for mowing crews, for us, the ideal is three for residential mowing based on our, our property size. We have tried four. We don't gain much additional, and we've, we've tried this a number of times. We've ran four at times when we're in what I described as an emergency due to weather, and you do get more done, but the efficiency isn't there, and your per man hour, your hourly man rate comes down. We have tested two. Two is actually more efficient than three for smaller residential, but then you get into a new issue, and that is asset utilization, trucks, equipment, and such. And then you have insurance and safety risk and opportunity cost and all these other factors to consider. So for us, at this size, three is better than two because of management, the way we pay, and all these other factors. If I was starting over and I was a small business again, then two is what I would run. I would run two-man mowing crews. Again, you have to understand what kind of business we are in what market we're serving and know that we go after the clients that we want, not the properties that are available to us. We are able to say we want properties of this size and not properties of another size. If, my, if our crews had to maintain acreage, one acre plus properties, and then spend half of their day mowing properties under 15,000 square feet, the business wouldn't work out so well. If, my, if our irrigators had to do certain activities for one half of the day and a different activity for a different half of the day, that would completely change the decisions that we make. We have not always done it this way. We started out as commercial. Our original, com most of our original commercial accounts, we were running four-man crews. And then we realized that it made more sense on our warehouse properties that required a different service level to run actually just a two-man crew. And then, then we had a SCAG, we had a 21, or we had some kind of a rider, a 61-inch rider, for example. We had a, a, a 21-inch mower, we had a couple weed eaters, and we realized that, hey, it's more efficient to take some equipment off the truck and send just two men out to do this. On our bigger commercial properties, we have found four made more sense. And you'd had four individuals out on the property. And do know that we never did residential properties, excuse me, we never did commercial properties that ever took more than a full day. Our biggest properties would be a, a one-day job with four men on the job. That would be the biggest we ever had um, and, and have to this day. And so it's a different animal when you are dealing with commercial properties that could require 16, 20 people on the job site. That's not what I'm talking about. We tend to cater more to the smaller properties. And as a result, our crew size can be smaller. For bush trimming, we've tested everything from two men to three men to four men. Uh, at times, we've been forced to run three, be just trying to keep up. But it, again, every time we do that, uh, in fact, for years, we ran three. At times, we ran four. Two, without question, question generates the most production, the most profitability.
uh, and production was the wrong word to use. You can get more pure production of four people versus two, but when you look at what matters, which is how much money you're generating per man hour, two is more efficient. And sometimes we have to sacrifice the margin to get all the work done and add a third person. But at the end of the day, two is more efficient. That's not where we started. That was a realization in the last three years or so, and that's where we're at now. For spray techs, commercial, residential, it depends. You're out spraying commercial properties. You're pulling a lot of hose. It oftentimes makes two, sense to put two men on that job. When you're doing small residential, one man is perfectly acceptable for as a spray tech. Same with pest control. Irrigation, oftentimes we find that uh, one man makes perfect sense, but for many different reasons, a lot of times we run a two-man team for irrigation. Again, it depends on are we doing commercial, are we doing residential, what's going on, what's happening, what's our backlog. Backlog has a lot to do with how big the crew is that we're running right now. In a perfect world, we would have con completely consistent demand, meaning that our backlog would never grow too large, and that would allow us to constantly maintain that sweet spot of profit margin, meaning that we're running the perfect crew size, but at times we are forced to go against what we know is best and add additional person to an irrigation crew, to a, a lawn care crew, to a maintenance crew, just because we have to deal with demand and we have to keep our level of customer service. Profit sacrificed a bit, but we continue to maintain our reputation, continue to maintain the level of customer service that we've promised our clients. And so these are example considerations. And yes, it has absolutely evolved over the years, and it will continue to evolve as our company continues to evolve.